162. Can you believe it's here already? Um, you know what? It, it's. Uh, it's actually kind of flown by uh, this season. Um, you know, I guess it's a good time to reflect. Uh, it's been obviously a great year and um, fitting Clayton's taking the mound today and, you know, us trying to win a ball game. But it, it's been a great year. But I do think that our guys uh, are looking forward to, you know, putting a bow on the regular season and looking forward to the postseason. Uh, with Clayton today, we know it's going to be abbreviated. Do you have an idea as to what that will actually look like? I think it's kind of the four and, and five innings situation. So uh, if it's an efficient four, um, I, I can see him going out there for the fifth. And uh, if it's not, then, uh, you know, that might be it. There was a sim game out here today, uh, just Dustin May, Blake Trainer. What did you see from them on the mound? I thought they were good. You know, Dust, uh, Blake faced uh, three hitters. Um, I thought the slider was good. Uh, I thought the velocity, I don't didn't see the velocity on it, but it, from my eyes, I thought it was good. Um, talked to him briefly, said he feel, felt good. So um, obviously the next step will be in a few days. Uh, he'll probably face some more hitters and we'll see where we go from there. And as far as Dustin, uh, two innings up, down, I thought the ball was coming out really good. So very encouraging day, but good day. We're off to a good start. Is it too early to sort of assess what they might be able to bring you in the first round? No, I, I think with Blake, it's easy to say that, uh, you know, if, uh, if if he feels good enough to be on the roster and that's the way we go, then I think, uh, you know, a clean inning, you know, makes sense. Um, and, and I think the back-to-back the -back is something that we got to see how he feels tomorrow, you know, to kind of get a little context or, you know. And as far as uh, Dustin, I think that we can, we feel confident that, He's at three innings. He can do three innings, something like that. So we'll see. But again, how he feels tomorrow. But today was a good day. When, when would Blake, Blake go you? again? Um, so today is Wednesday. Uh, Blake should go Saturday. Is, is the question with Blake whether he's able to bounce back? That's right. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Because when you're talking about a, a series, obviously the utility for not just one game is important. And with Dustin, would it be Monday? I guess he's doing five. Five days. Dustin will Dustin will be on line back on Sunday. He'll do he'll throw his okay. on Sunday. Any other guys who are probably gonna be here this weekend in Arizona besides Alvin Taylor? Yeah, we're gonna bring uh, some other guys. I think Victor Gonzalez is gonna be here. I think Michael Grove, Pepio. Um, you saw Altman, you saw Pilar. Um, so so they're gonna face some hitters. Uh, some of those guys will take some more at bats. Um, so that's kind of it, yeah. Dave, what's CT able to do today? Yeah, so CT's going to, I think he's going to do some stuff in the cage. Um, what I got is baseball activities. So I haven't seen him out here uh, playing catch yet. So hopefully he can do that. But um, today he feels better than yesterday. And so hoping that tomorrow he feels better than today. So as we sit here right now, I'm expecting him to be on the postseason roster. Dave, yesterday we kind of talked about game one starter a little bit. But what kind of what, what kind of goes into that decision with you guys this year? So you have two options, Julio and Clayton. But when you look at the postseason, you know they are between four and five. Like, how do you decide on who goes game one? Um, just to give you a little peek behind the curtain, um, it, it's more of who we feel is best to potentially come back on regular rest in game five. So it's not opponent driven, it's not certainly talent driven, it's kind of where we feel um, who's in the best spot to do that. And that's all I'll say on that. Is another way to put that is who's in the worst spot to try to pitch on short rest from two to no. five? But then, uh, no. Is there a, with those two guys, is, is one of the, like, is Julio in a spot where he could kind of bounce back quicker than, than They're both in that spot, we just got to make a decision on who's in the best spot. That's it. A new franchise record now that you're at 162, or do you save that till potentially this evening? I want to reflect on 111 wins. Um, he only talks about it after. Yeah, uh, I, 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 it's it's remarkable. It's to look at what we've done, and you're in. This is an elite company as far as how many teams have won 110 games in Major League history. Um, so. All you can do is control what you can control in the regular season. I think we've dominated it. And so I want to finish on a, on a high note with a win. Um, start a little picket fence, you know, 111.
But uh, yeah, I can't say enough about our, our players, our coaches, and the entire organization. You said almost the way they played recently. Yeah, you know, I, I just think that it, it's. I, I think the human element part of it is playing a factor. Um, I don't want to kind of say we're 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 over it, we're bored, but because the guys are playing their tails off, and no one likes to make outs, um, so. That's not it at all. Um, I do think that having a change of scenario, getting to the postseason, I think that will certainly help that. But uh, that's why I'm not reading too much into it as far. And you're talking about play. It's it's not the pitching. It's not the defense. It's just certain guys are just not you know getting on track offensively. That's all.